Welcome back to the course in Robotic Process Automation. You might be eager to get started already, but it is worth mentioning a few things before we dive into the course and making sure that you make the best out of it. The first thing that might be pleased to hear is that you do not need any programming skills to do this course. But if you have any background in programming, this will assist you as RPA relies on a lot of logic. The second thing to mention is that you need to have a very clear understanding of the processes that you wish to automate. This is the most crucial factor in RPA, the automation component we can help with, but you are the one that needs to give your automation context. That being said, we will assist you with key principles that will assist you to identify processes that can be automated or can be partially automated and streamline your processes. Since we will be working in Power Automate Desktop by Microsoft, you will then need a Microsoft account if you do not have a personal or one from your organization. Either way, Microsoft has a free account that will grant you access to Power Automate and you'll be able to do everything that we've prepared for this course. This course is also developed using a free account from Microsoft. The last and very important thing to mention is that you'll need an attitude of a scholar. You need to wish to develop yourself further to broaden your RPA expertise. You'll quickly realize what set of skills you need to carry out your automation, which might not be covered in this course. Great, now let's you help you set up your account. Go to Microsoft.com and sign up for an account using an email address of your choice. You'll then arrive at this page. Click on the menu at the top left corner to show more apps from Microsoft. You'll probably not see Power Automate, so click on all apps and then select it. A pop-out menu will then show for you to add your preferences. Do the short setup from the pop-out screen and then you'll arrive on the Power Automate homepage. This is all for now that you need to do to prepare for the first part of the course. You are now ready to start with building your own automation. See you at the next video.